Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the HD Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Rogue Hitman kernel on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. It's a video everyone's requesting because it does have Clockwork Mod Touch baked in. I will be doing a separate review video of Clockwork Mod Touch, but here's a video on how to install the kernel. Uh, generally, it's about, it's the same method to install kernels. Um, just make sure, I believe, to my knowledge, it's uh, TouchWiz ROMs only, so CM7 and CM9 don't flash this kernel, so just a heads up there. Anyways, click on the link in the description of the video. Big shout out to Steady Hawken, very, very good developer for our uh, kernels. Anyway, go ahead and scroll down, scroll, keep scrolling down. And you got a couple options. You've got an Odin tar, which you put in the PDA slot of Odin, or you got your Clockwork Mod zip, which is what I'm gonna show you guys. So click and download the zip file. It will look like this right here, Rogue ET 1.5.0. Get that zip file on your SD card or internal SD. Once there, you can go back to your phone and we're gonna need to go into our custom recovery. So I'm just gonna press the recovery button. If you want to do it manually, power off your device, press and hold the volume up and power button at the same time. Till the Samsung screen lights up, let go, and it should reboot you into your custom recovery. I'm gonna go ahead and let this reboot now. All right, now that we are in our custom recovery to install this kernel, first, make an Android backup. Always safe to do so. Backups and restore an Android backup. Once you've done that, go to the wipe menu and hit wipe cache. So wipe your cache real quick and then go to wipe down the cache and hit yes. Once those two are done, hit go back and hit install zip from file. Choose zip from SD card or internal storage, select it, and then select your uh, your kernel, the Rogue ET 1.5 Hitman kernel, and hit yes. So then I will go ahead and install the Hitman kernel. And as you can see, install complete. Doesn't take a long time. Just hit go back and reboot system. And that's it. So go ahead and reboot your device, and you should have the Rogue Hitman kernel on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I'm gonna go ahead and let this reboot. Also, just a heads up, since Cache and Delvin Cache were wiped, it will take a little bit longer to boot up, so just be patient with the first boot up. Okay, now that my phone has booted up, uh, that's it. You're ready to go. Maybe it changed your uh, kernel. I'm gonna go to About Phone, and as you can see, kernel version right there, Rogue. ET 1.5.0 plus. So there you have it. You are now on the Rogue Hitman kernel on your Epic 4G Touch. From what I hear, it's very smooth, snappy, battery life's great. Definitely a kernel you're going to want to check out, as well as Clockwork Mod Touch. I'll be doing a separate review video of that, since it will be universal pretty soon with all kernels included in ROMs, I would assume. But anyways, check out that review video. I'll link to that in the description. But anyways, that's about it. That's how you install the Rogue Hitman kernel. Let me know what you think, how it's uh, performing for you. Leave a comment on the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.